Ladies and gentlemen, hello and you are watching TTV News some latest events in the province and now coming to details. Ladies and gentlemen, on the morning of October 13, the delegation of the Ho Chi Minh City Labor Federation, led by Mr. Vo Thai, chairman of the Ho Chi Minh City Labor Federation, came to donate funds to 36 houses trade union home in Tenin. Welcoming the delegation, there were Mr. Nguyen Thanh Tâm, member of the party Central Committee, Secretary of the Ronso Party Committee, Chairman of the People Council of Tenin Province, Mr. Trần Nhân Chính, Ronso Party member, Vice Chairman of the Ronso People Committee, Mr. Trần Nhân Phước, Ronso Party member, Chairman of the Ronso Labor Federation. Speaking at the meeting, Mr. Yeo Thai, Chairman of the Labor Federation of Ho Chi Minh City, said that he followed the assignment of the Vietnam Chair of Confederation of Labor to support the trade union sector and respond to the emulation movement, raise temporary houses, the lapidated houses. The Labor Federation of Ho Chi Minh City has supported funds for the construction of trade union sector for some neighboring province, in which, in Tainan, the Labor Confederation of Ho Chi Minh City will support 36 houses with the value of city million Vietnam Dom per unit from the shore of socialization. At the same time, the Labor Federation of Human City also proposed to expand the operating network of the CEP fund in Tainan, supporting trade union members and workers in the province to accept red rental loans, improving their lives. On behalf of Bronzo leaders, Mr. Nguyen Thanh Tâm, Secretary of the Bronzo Party Committee, Chairman of the Bronzo People Council, would like to thank the attention of the Ho Chi Minh City Labor Confederation and the support of units and businesses in Ho Chi Minh City in building the trade union center, joining hand to help the province remove temporary houses, the lapidated houses. The Secretary of the Bronzo Party Committee also highly appreciated the proposal to expand the branch network in the name of the CEP fund, not only meeting the demand for loans, improving the lives of worker employees, but also contributing to the prevention of black credit in the province. On this occasion, the Bronzo People Committee also awarded certificates of merit to the Standing Committee of the Labor Confederation of Ho Chi Minh City for supporting the construction of 36 trade union sector houses for trade union members and workers in the province. The Bronzo People Committee has just directed to strengthen the management and control of real estate price fluctuations in the province. Accordingly, the Chairman of the Brinso People's Committee requests the Department's managers and the People's Committee of the District Town in the to urgently focus on implementing solutions to promote the real estate market to develop safely and healthfully, sustainably, and remove them this obstacle and review and inspect the land use. At the same time, it is necessary to strictly manage the construction of houses in subdivision projects, the sale of land to avoid speculation. Inflating land prices and publicized information about the measure, the establishment, and the right of administrative units in the province. From the reverential law of the Social Policy Bank and the participation of all levels of farmer association, a trusting units, many households in Long Phu Khamun have condition to renovate, build new, upgrade clean water works, rural environmental sanitation, thereby contributing to helping people improve their quality of life. Long Phuc, a border commune of Bangkok District, has met the new road standard since 2015. However, with the peculiarity of border commune, the lives of people here are still difficult. To continue to improve the quality of life, Long Phuc commune has been making effort to mobilize resources, including creating conditions for people to accept rail rental loans from the Social Policy Bank to build and upgrade in water and sanitation projects in rural areas. This is one of the important solutions to help people in rural living conditions protect their health and contribute to protecting the rural environment. Up to now, it has been dispersed for 266 households. The Poverty Reduction Committee has effectively considered the meeting to spend the right target for its officer to monitor, at the same time as its officer in the supervisory board to supervise household using capital so that deficiency in the area of lean water front capital in the recent year. Thanks to access to rare rental loans from the Social Policy Bank, many households have had condition to invest the construction of upgrading of lean water environmental sanitation project, meeting essential living needs, contributing to improving the quality of life.
From the day when there was a body supporting the policy of borrowing lean water soil, then my house were reworked. It were also lean, rotating, hatching for the baby, family, good health. This program received the attention and boosted the response of the people. On levels of Farmer Association, Veteran Association, Women's Association, Youth Union have also chaired the role of interested units, supporting people in assessing loans. When signing a joint agreement with the Policy Bank on a loan for lean water and rural sanitation, the association deploys simultaneously in the commune. Currently, the total outstanding debt of the management association is over 7 billion Vietnam. On the part of the association, re a maximum condition for farmers to asset and use capital is well check the capital for the right purpose and periodically. From September 2, 2024, the loan amount for the lean water and sanitation program has been reached to 50 million Vietnam dollars, doubling compared to before. This is an opportunity for how to invest in the construction or upgrading of lean water environmental sanitation works. The direction will continue to replicate to households who have been borrowing lean water and currently borrowing 25 million must propagate to people to better understand the need for capital. Because this capital will be raised to 50 million, it will replicate more until the due period. People pay to the due and raise the capital. The Reverential Law and Program for Investment in the Construction of Clean Water and Sanitation Works in Rural Area is a practical policy with deep humanitarian meaning, contributing to the goal of building a new countryside and improving the quality of life for people. In order to improve and enhance administrative reform indicator, the certification in that the people and organization for the service of administrative agency and the state, the Bronze People Committee requests the department, department Bronze Branches Central Agency Station in the province, people committees of district, town, and city to focus on carrying out a number of key tasks and solutions. Squid the spirit of taking the certification of people and business as a measure of the quality and efficiency of the government apparatus. Cutter civil servant employees within the scope of responsibility were more a high sense of responsibility, determination to reform administration, especially the role of the head of its locality, NC, unit in the organization of implementing and implementing administrative reform indicator, build the culture of public service in communication. A culture of apology, improve the sense of responsibility of civil servants in handling work, remote power association with digital transformation, interest in investing in technical infrastructure, information technology equipment, a celebrate the completion of e government building tasks, digital transformation, and building large databases, improve accountability, seriously handle reflection and suggestions of individuals and organizations on regulation or administrative process. Procedures. On the evening of October 12, the Department of Land Investment collaborated with the Bristol Business Association to organize a meeting for businesses and entrepreneurs on the occasion of the Vietnam Entrepreneurs Day, October the 13th. Informing the delegates attending the meeting, Mr. Trang Hu Hao, Chairman of Tenant Business Association, said that continuing the duration of Vietnamese businessmen since its establishment until now, the Provincial Business Association has gathered, united, and protected the legitimate and the rights of the businesses and business teams in the province. The business community has the team of the entrepreneurs of the province increasingly confident and mature. Production and business activities are increasingly stable and developed. And speaking of the event, Mr. Nguyen Thanh Tâm, member of the Party Central Committee, Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, Chairman Provincial Bill Council, acknowledged and thank the contribution of the business community and the business team to the general development of the province in the past time. It is hoped that the community of businessmen and enterprises in the province will continue to promote their achievements, strongly show the pioneering and leading role in the course of the social
also economic development. At the same time, it is foresight that the province will continue to accompany, support, and create all conditions for businesses and entrepreneurs in the province to develop strongly. The Bronze People Committee has also issued a plan to continue strengthen task management for e-commerce business activity, pushing it on digital platforms in the area. In which, in addition to strengthening propaganda, the Bronze Task Department actively collects, reviews, synthesizes, builds, and enriches database necessary information to serve task management for the e-commerce sector. Review and identify e-commerce exchange that are subject to providing information to tax authority on the basis of actual tax management information. Coordinate with department, agency, branches, and local authorities to review and identify individuals and business households in the area who have e-commerce business activity, business on digital platform, answering phone management of objects. Ladies and gentlemen, Vietnam's Poverty Reduction Program has been recognized by country and international organization for many years as the bright spot and the only country in Asia to implement a multi-dimensional, comprehensive and suitable poverty reduction program. In that common achievement, many models of self-governing groups and people mobilization groups in the community have aroused the spirit of solidarity Habits is other reduce poverty and get rich, contributing to the successful implementation of local social economic tasks. This day and the happy days in Dong Lang Village, everyone is excited to prepare a cultural performance in a newly inaugurated village cultural house. Dong Lang is remote and particularly difficult village in Shengdong district of Bakyang province. One percent of ethnic minority people here and over the years, the people here have just struggled to go to the people's houses and school to live in the community due to lack of the cultural houses. In the past, the village did not have a cultural house when the meeting came. I had to ask the village school, but now I'm very happy and with this cultural house. Determining that the new rural construction is associated with a sustainable poverty reduction, and therefore the government community and the people of Sengdong Highland District of Bakyang Province have focused and mobilized on resources to determine in 2025 to get rid of the poor and the weakened district of the whole country. As a reputable person in the ethnic minority areas, Mr. Nam Vang Kai has donated more than 1,000 square meters of land and mobilized the people to donate land to build cultural houses in Dong Lang Village and make inter village roads also. The most beautiful thing in the village is that there is no place to build a cultural house, and we see that we discuss with our families and wives and children to donate the land. Especially with the movement, each commune world town has a livelihood model. In Sengdom District, members of the Veteran Association have registered to build a project linking the production of medicinal plants according to the value chain. At the same time, mobilize the household with a lot of land to land poor households to produce land, support seedlings, and fertilizers. With the motto close to the people, understand the people, the civil mobilization work that is carefully associated with the grassroots has helped promote flexible models and ways associated with the actual situation in the countries to help the people eradicate the hunger and reduce poverty quickly and sustainably, contributing to increasingly improving the material lives as well as the spirits of the people. The preliminary round in Ho Chi Minh City has the participation of more than 50 contestants, aged from 6 to 15, from primary and secondary schools in the city and the southern provinces. And the members of the jury highly appreciated the talents of the young contestant, and at the same time comment on some content so that the contestants entering the inner route were more confident and saw their part better. The disbursement must be made as soon as the completed volume of the project is accepted. 
This is the collaboration of the leaders of the People's Committee of the Nen Province at a recent meeting on basic construction and emphasized that this is also one of the solutions to accelerate the disbursement of public investment capital in 2024. Mr. Yu Yatang, Vice Chairman of the People's Committee of the Nen Province, directed the People's Committees of District, Town, and City to accelerate the implementation of project disburse as soon as the completion volume is accepted, overcoming the situation of subjectivity, lack of both Positivity, rushing the disbursement in the last months of the year, leading to the failure to complete the exact plan. In the fourth quarter of 2024, investors must urgently accept the volume when the contractor completes and pays on time. If the project is selected for a bid, the investor must advance the money in accordance with the law. Investors may decide construction rules and strictly handle contractors who have spot borne the project construction time many times. And according to the Vietnam Electricity Group, EVN to adjust the increase in electricity prices from October 11 of 2024, EVN is based on three important pages, politics, law, and practice. On the political basis, implementing the resolution of the Police Bureau on the orientation of the Vietnam's National Energy Development Strategy to 2030, the vision to 2045, including the requirement apply market prices to all types of energy and remote on barriers to ensure the transparent energy prices decided by the market. In terms of legal basis, the adjustment of retail prices this time is carried out according to the decision of the Prime Minister on the regulation on mechanism for adjusting the average retail price for electricity. And for the practical basis, according to EVN, the cost of electricity production is affected by many input factors in electricity production, coal, oil, car prices, and foreign exchange rates also. Ladies and gentlemen, on the morning of October 11, at National High School, Hue City, the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development coordinated with the United Nations Representative Agencies in Vietnam and the People's Committee of Thu Thinh Hue Province to celebrate the International Day of Disaster Risk Reduction and Asian Disaster Management Day in 2024 with the team empowering the young generation for a safe future against natural disaster. This year, team emphasized the responsibility and role of the young generation in disaster prevention with a specific message that children need to be responsible for their own safety and lies in the face of natural disasters. You need to have the most basic awareness, skill and knowledge to ensure safety, or at least not to put yourself in danger and even be able to get out of danger when a natural disaster occurs. We call for young people, not only of the future but also of the present, to participate from today, including knowledge, skill and attitude to have the right awareness. Then there will be the right action and are soon to ensure safety in natural disaster. In the future, you will be the future owners of the country and also in your current life to help you overcome natural disaster and convey your skill in responding to natural disaster to the community and family. From the beginning of 2024 until now, the world has witnessed many fires and anomalous natural disaster, causing heavy losses to life, robotic and huge losses to the global economy. Most recently, Typhoon Yagi has left extremely heavy consequences for the northern province and cities of Vietnam, in which more than 300 people have died, thousands of people have been injured, tens of thousands of houses have been damaged, and the overall damage to the economy is at estimated at 3 billion US dollar. The second easy to would like to save today's event is empowering the young generation for children because children are the future of the country. When children have knowledge and skill, they will bring the knowledge and pass on the next generation to the next generation that see the message that we want to convey to the community in Vietnam, especially in Thu Tinh Way. According to the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, the two main priority areas of international cooperation in disaster risk mitigation today are strengthening community resilience, especially prioritizing vulnerable areas and strengthening disaster risk resistance and infrastructure, in which special attention is paid to early warning and forecasting system. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for watching and see you next time.